Yeah, dude, I, I hate I hate that I reset the watch time. Okay, who's ready to cook some food? Uh, gonna be making one of the better breakfast dishes uh, that I know how to make. It's super simple. It's not a complex breakfast dish. This is just kind of like to give you guys some perspective on like, oh, I don't want to have cereal, but like, I don't really know how to cook. You know what I mean? Like, this is one of Nick, Nick Irish. This is like his favorite dish, his favorite dish. Um, so yeah, it's just an easy, what up Mr. Beevil? It's just an easy dish to make, not super complicated. The bacon is not the best for you, but it's also not terrible if you don't eat it too much. If you don't eat it too much, this dish can be pretty healthy. It's a very high source of protein, not a ton of carbs. What up, Pink Roses? So it's just like a, it's a, I don't even have a name for it. I don't even have a name for it. I make it a lot of different ways, but this is like my breakfast hash that I make. Uh, it's just a really yummy kind of quick meal. It's just like a breakfast hash thing. I don't actually, I'm missing a couple of ingredients. Um, so I am missing hash browns. Uh, for when I do put carbs in it, but I've been kind of leaving out the hash browns. I'm missing bell peppers and green onion and some of the spices, but you can always add it. You know what I mean? So uh, let's get to it. Start cooking. So uh, we're going to kind of start here. We've got the bacon out. So you're going to need like half of the slab of bacon, typically speaking. Shai sent me a dish. Uh, usually a little bit of red onion little bit of white onion or yellow onion doesn't really matter um, you're gonna usually want to make sure that you uh, have some green onion just because it's a very good garnish I know you guys can't see my face but it's all good you you kind of want some garnish um, I love mushrooms and the mushrooms taste fantastic when you actually uh, braise them right so 10 out of 10 would recommend getting mushrooms in there at least try it once and then since I'm cooking for two people I usually put about four eggs I got four eggs here and that's about all you need um in terms of spices tiny 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 bit of seasoned salt parsley flakes crushed red pepper garlic powder some sage and thyme leaf so all that's all that's pretty good what's going on with the points what happened All right, but yeah, so we're gonna get started. And the best way to cut this bacon, you know, always wash your hands after you handle the bacon. I kind of have it like this. So you're gonna cut down in strips like this and like, mm, not very, very large strips, but I'd say like maybe a half of an inch in length because you kind of want these nice little rectangles of bacon. The thinner, I think thinner is good too because it cooks a little bit faster when you have bacon that's like, really thick it cooks a little bit slower so you kind of get a length about like that and then one individual piece would look something like this you kind of want like about that big so we're gonna move that to the side for now and grab the onion and then since it's just uh me and nick irish i usually cut around like i don't know maybe like half of an onion, quarter to a half of an onion. Pretty delicious. Um, so right around this much, and then you're just gonna dice it up, or you can do it in like a, so you can dice it, or you can have it in strips like this. Either way, it looks really good. What happens if I play one game with Shadi right now? I just wouldn't redeem that. <laughs> Maybe don't redeem that. I wouldn't know how to respond. We're just gonna we're gonna dice this up real quick and so guys like cooking is a super valuable skill like knowing how to cook is gonna help you all when you get to college and when you eventually move out get your own places you're gonna want to know how to cook so uh yeah start learning how to cook early on learn how to cook dishes that you really like like if you know you have a family member that makes a favorite dish or they make something that you really enjoy, you should ask them how to make it. Because nine times out of 10, they're gonna wanna teach you. Wanna wish my mother a good night at work? Good, I hope your mother has a fantastic night at work, Pink Roses. I know it's a lot of onion, it looks like a lot of onion, but it's not a lot of onion, I promise. I promise, you gotta just bear with me here. Hey Bones, thank you for the sub, man. 
An air fryer is fantastic for cooking. This is more fun cooking for me. I, en I enjoy cooking, I like the process. Bones, thank you very much for the sub. Go ahead and chop this one up as well. So, how's everybody's day today? What'd y'all do? It makes your eyes not cry. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, no, we're good. I'm kind of, I'm kind of immune to the onion at this point. I've been doing it every day. Or chew gum while chopping onions. Oh, you can tell it directly. Okay, sounds good, Pink Roses. I don't know. I don't really get affected by the onion anymore. I think I just cook a lot with onions. All right, I like a lot of mushrooms. Totally up to you on how much you put. And again, I'd highly recommend bell pepper with this dish. It tastes fantastic. So. We're just gonna kind of cut into some slices. I don't really dice the mushrooms, you can, but I like them in slices, I think it tastes really good. Or just tell the onions to be nice. Yeah, just tell the onions who's boss. But yeah, I like slices like this for, like this for my mushroom. I think this is yummy. And you can incorporate a lot of different other vegetables too. Like uh, putting some cilantro in there, some basil is always a good move. Now, if this is a meal that you're going purely for taste and not for health benefit, her name is Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa, I hope you have a fantastic night at work. Have a fantastic night, Miss Lisa. What are we making? Bones, we are making a uh, Strader bar. Kind of. 84% till push-ups, let's go. We are making food, Bones. We're making a, like a, it's like a breakfast hash type thing. But yeah, guys, I'm telling you, learning how to cook saved me during college because there was a lot of people that I was there were a lot of people I was friends with that didn't know how to cook and uh you want to know how to cook of course pink she said cool with a thumbs up nice I wish we were making lumpia bro lumpia sounds so good okay now that we've got kind of all the veggies cut up we've got the big oh sorry I didn't even finish my previous thought if you want to go for just taste like that's all you care about the secret is putting the bacon in first and putting syrup on it. Syrup on it, delicious. Are you mixing all that? We are. So before you throw the vegetables in the pan though, what you wanna do is make sure you add olive oil. Olive oil is really good for you. It has a ton of healthy fats. It caramelizes a lot of vegetables really well. It helps with cooking the meat. It also keeps the pan uh, like, you know, wet so the vegetables don't stick to it and burn easy. But yeah, olive oil, very good for you. So I kind of do like a like a light drizzling, not not a ton, just like a good amount. So you can kind of see it in there. Just kind of coat the pan enough that the vegetables are gonna get fried. And then uh, my stove goes to about 10. So I usually have it around six or seven. Get the, get the heat going. You really don't want to, uh, you don't want to crank it up too high because you're going to cook the vegetables too fast. And if you have it too low, it's going to take a little too long. Drink it. Scrambling some eggs in there. Well, Bean Man, have no fear. We'll get there. We will get there. Don't you worry. So for now, we just got to let the oil heat up. Uh, you do not want to add your vegetables until the oil is hot. That is that is like kind of key to this. You don't want to add the vegetables until it's hot. Your oven's nice. It is very nice. 
because if you add it when it's not hot all it's gonna do is like cook it's gonna cook the vegetables over a longer period of time meaning the vegetables might cook a little bit faster than when you add the meat or if you have the meat in there it might just start cooking a little too fast or absorbing too much of the olive oil you want the olive oil to kind of like braise it Ooh, Sam Waffle gambles all. How's he do? He won Ted. <laughs> How's the hiccups? What'd y'all do today? While we wait for the uh, pan to get hot. Also, the big thing about cooking is just trying it, right? Because, like, it's honestly kind of intimidating sometimes when you don't know how to cook and you don't know what vegetables to put together. You should definitely just try it pink rose says i'm curious on how that japanese omelet would taste oh the omurice omurice is so good so good oh my gosh we'll probably do omelets another day because i'm omelet, like american omelets not japanese omelets but omurice is so good dang everybody just lost all their points <laughs> everybody lost all their points that is rough Y'all are just getting smoked by the gamble all right now. All right, what are we doing? Not quite warm enough yet. It basically, you want to get the olive oil hot enough to where when you throw the vegetables and the meat in, it already is uh, sizzling. Do a musty flip. What's up, Juggle Boy? I want French toast. Oh. My mom's French toast is the best French toast on the planet. By far. By far. Do a McChicken flip. <laughs> Y'all are wild, man. Y'all are wild. How are we doing on the olive oil? I know I'm like, I'm kind of taking my time walking through the steps, but like, once you actually get in the process of knowing how to do this and you're just cooking it on your own, it takes like five to 10 minutes to prep, five to 10 minutes to cook. How you doing, Shadi? I'm doing good. Car is all done. Y'all, dude, let's go. What up, Ansix? Dude, let's go, man. I'm excited. I'm excited for you, Juggle. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. Do you make with or, with or without liquor? Angry RL. Uh, this is a breakfast meal, so I make it without liquor. Ansix, you can't even drink. Can't even drink Anzix. All right, we're looking good on the heat. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, gonna spread this around a little bit. It's a sold out show. Let's go, Juggle Boy. Make sure you spread around the oil. And then we're just gonna dump everything in. All right, try not to spill it all. Again, I can't emphasize this enough. Green onions and bell peppers really adds to this dish, especially having a mix of like red, green, and yellow peppers, I think. And if you like a lot of spice, you can add in a chili paste or you can add in jalapenos, just up to you. What are you making? We're making like a breakfast meal. It's like a breakfast hash. Do we get some of this woo? You kind of do. Yeah, but this is one of Nick Irish's favorite things that I make. And so when you get it all in the pan, what you kind of want to do is you'll notice that the bacon kind of sits in these little like stacks almost. You kind of just want to let it separate out so you get the individual pieces cooking. But the good thing about having it on like six heat is that it's going to take a little bit longer to cook. So you get kind of a slower cook so the bacon gets a little bit firmer, a little bit like browner without burning it. And that's kind of what we're going for here. We're gonna spread it on the pan. And I will kind of show you guys what is going on in there right now. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Okay. 
I put the perfect amount of milk in it. Milk? What? You could just use the handle hole to everything. I guess you could. Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Oh, where'd the check go? Oh my god, I accidentally got rid of it. No egg? Oh, don't worry, we're getting there, Ansix. There's egg. There's egg. Blazing, what's going on, man? I wish you guys could smell this. I wish I had a way for you to smell this, because let me tell you, it's immaculate. It is immaculate. Stop llama time, what is going on? How we doing? Made some spaghetti today, let's go. Breakfast for dinner, breakfast for dinner is peak. We are doing a cooking stream today, yes. Send me a jar with the kitchen air. I got you, Bean Man. Easy. Make sure to take pictures of the finished car. Honestly, yeah, Juggle Boy, you didn't send any pictures or videos of the car to the uh, to the Discord. Kind of weird, bro. But yeah, bre breakfast for dinner is actually peak. Plus. If you guys are into lifting and stuff like this, this meal is super high in protein, not a ton of carbs. I'm throwing a tortilla in there because it tastes delicious, but if you take out the tortilla, add in a couple more vegetables, um, and use a meat that's not bacon, like if you get turkey bacon, it's actually really delicious. Um, very good for you. Fantastic for you. Tastes delicious too. Keep mixing around in here. And then since everybody in this chat is peak, oh dang, I didn't, do what the heck? What are the ingredients? So you're gonna want a uh, yellow onion or white onion, some red onion. I don't have it, but green onion and bell peppers are fantastic in the dish. Uh, you want bacon, eggs, mushrooms. That's kind of what I start with. Egg, sausage, bacon before I go. Yep, lots of protein. High protein, low carb is gains. That's all it is. Kyler, what's going on? Welcome in, welcome in. Nick Iyer said Hawaiian bread. Do you want the rolls instead of the instead of the tortilla, Nick Irish? Peppers would taste great. I, I have a okay, so I have a yellow bell pepper, but Nick Irish doesn't like the yellow bell peppers. Love me some game. We love games. You know it. I'm not gonna flex on camera, but you know it. Make me a fat boy. No, but the tortilla's better. Tortilla's honestly better, but um, the other thing is. If you want it to be a little bit spicier, if you want it to be a little bit spicier, add this at the end. I don't add it because Nick Irish uh, doesn't like tons of spice, and fair enough. But uh, yeah, Nick Irish is my brother. Thank you, Nick Irish. But yeah, some of this, very delicious. Redeem Flex, no. Absolutely not. But to pass the time, since I know it cooks a little bit slow, we're gonna make a latte. Because I know how to make those too. Ooh, look at the, the forearm cut. Let's go. It's all the jump rope I've been doing. I spelt it wrong. <laughs> you got spinach tortilla? Yep, spinach tortillas are good. That's how we're looking so far. What you're kind of looking for in terms of the progress is you kind of want um, browning of the onion, stuff like that. I'm trying to schedule this with this threes teams. Oh God, sun's out, guns out, sun's not out. I just got a bright light. Maybe, maybe at the end, we'll see, we'll see at the end. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna make a latte because you guys know that I like coffee. This coffee maker actually, for real though, this latte maker, $40 at Walmart. Okay. 
Also, usually, hey, what up, Fultz? I love coffee, but it kills my stomach. I love coffee so much. The Strader bar. Oh my gosh, yeah, I did the command. Let's go. Um, we're gonna add in all the spices now. So again, I usually add it towards the end, but you can add it in regardless. I like adding the red pepper early. I just kind of forgot because you guys are fun to talk to. Um, so parsley flakes. Not a ton, but seasoned salt. What up, Shim? Thyme leaf. Yeah, we're cooking breakfast for dinner, y'all. What does this look like with this on? Well, that's kind of peak, actually. That's good light. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of sage in there. What up, Pack? This is for you. This is for everybody. A little bit of garlic powder really complements the bacon. Last but not least, red pepper. It dumped every... Oh, that's the worst when you put a little bit too much. I'm just gonna mix that all in. And it's starting to, starting to brown some of the vegetables, but we're looking for the bacon as well. You gotta make sure the bacon is uh, cooked all the way through. That's important, but that's why we kinda cook it a little bit slower. Good things take time. Good things take time. My boy with the seasoning sensational. Do the salt. All right, hold on. <laughs> you know what? I got you. I got you here. <laughs> I got you. I got you. What a pixel. What's going on, y'all? Chef. Like shoddy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're going to make a latte. Um, I'm just knocking everything over. This is one of my new favorite ones recently. Really delicious. Fantastic. I hate coffee? Well, you're wrong. But yeah, you want an espresso blend. If you, if you get an espresso maker, don't use regular coffee. So we're gonna get some in there. Wanna even it out, make sure you don't have too many lumps and bumps. And then here's the secret, right? L coffee, L U pack. What up, Funk? How you doing, man? What am I looking at? We're cooking food. What do you mean? What are you looking at? Whoever said L coffee is just wrong. And then you want to make sure I have this like cap that works perfectly. You want to flatten out all of the espresso, so you kind of get something that looks like that. I'm gonna flatten it out. Gotta heat up the water because we're gonna steam the milk later on. Actually, we want this here. Well, I explained this to them so they couldn't be confused or left out on what's going on. They initially asked if we could do Thursday at 5 p.m., and I'm like, we can only do 9 p.m. Damn, that sucks. What up, Fultz? How you doing, bro? Bean has been streamed three times now. Dude, I'm sorry I missed it, bro. I'm sorry I missed it. I need to drop a follow. What stove you on? I don't know. Samsung stove? But yeah, it's a breakfast hash. I usually drink iced tea or water. Iced tea is great, but I don't know, man. Some espresso is busting. Dumb question, but how you bring your whole setup in the kitchen? This is my phone. You're on my phone right now. Why did my clip work? Oh, I don't think people can send links. in here. Oh, we're looking good. We're making good progress on the browning of everything here. The onions are starting to caramelize. So fun thing, if you don't know a ton about cooking, like I don't know a ton about cooking, but I do know this. When you're cooking onions, 
when you caramelize them, it brings out this really sweet flavor and it's delicious. That's what you're going for. When they start to turn brown, kind of softer, oh, peak. In-depth tutorial on how your stove works. I turn the knob and it gets hot. I was gonna play basketball. Oh, you're hooping today? You're hooping today, Funk? Let's go. Gotta have a good spice cabinet, y'all. After dinner, go play basketball on stream? No, not today. Not today. It is so hard to keep up with chat while doing this. I did not expect it. I'm like panicking to try to get back to the phone. I have a little court in my backyard that is lit. That is lit, but it's good to see everybody, y'all. You're doing great, we're trying, we're trying. I kept my composure. Yeah, honestly, Pink, that's just annoying to deal with. I got you in 4K on some Salt Bay action. I love it. Stop Lava says, what that stove do? The stove be doing stove things, bro. Oh, we're looking good on the caramelization here. It's looking good. The bacon's getting brown. So when you start to notice that, what I like to do, I know it seems not intuitive, but I turn down the heat. Turn down the heat a little bit because we want the bacon to get really, really crispy without burning the vegetables. So you want to turn it down just a tad. What is your question, Chim? And you're tall. Thanks, Joe, boy. Six foot gang. Also, I just warm up the espresso machine by putting the, uh, I just have the steam run a little bit first, get all the water hot. Why do you bake cookies and cook bacon? You know? That's like one of those things where it's like, why do you ship things? Or it was like, what was it called? It's like, why do you ship things in a car? Oh man, I gotta, I gotta find it. But yeah, I don't know. That's a good play on words notion. English is dumb. It really is, bro. Do you like your bacon really crispy or do you like your bacon kind of soft? A little crispy, not too crispy. 1v1 me in cooking, I'm 100% Italian. Bet. Veins in my arms are starting to pop a lot, bro. Let me tell you, we're feeling vascular out here. We're feeling vascular. All right, we're gonna start brewing the espresso. Get a nice drip going, and once a little bit of the espresso is in the bottom, we'll actually turn it off because it's gonna do a natural drip. Soft but small crunch, absolutely. Yeah, cargo on a ship. Flex, I'm not flexing yet. I'll flex later. All right, now that we got that going. Gonna steam the milk. Turned it on a little too early, got milk everywhere. But yeah, breakfast for dinner, peak, I'm telling you. This is actually a low key super fun. You know, everybody's got to make food anyways. Might as well make it with everybody else. So if you ever do make lattes, since all y'all seem to hate coffee, you don't want to get too many bubbles in the milk. You want really thin bubbles because it creates that kind of frothy, foamy texture. It's real nice for the latte. Just about ready with that. Hey, Boats, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you for the gifted sub to Streamlabs. If I can screenshot the messages without it notifying or causing problems, I'll send you. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're getting there in terms of the bacon and stuff. Yeah, that's looking, that is looking good. All right, now. The best part, what rounds out the meal, gives it even a little bit more protein. 
And so you kind of want to flatten out all the veggies and the, the bacon at the bottom of the pan. And then you just crack the eggs on top. Now you can scramble the eggs in, nothing wrong with that. But the way I make it, the way I make it, I just crack the eggs over the top. All right, so you kind of have something that looks like this. Then what you're gonna do is you are gonna cover the pan and turn up the heat to like a six or a seven. That steam's gonna cook the egg a little bit faster without burning everything. This man got a beautiful kitchen, thank you bro. Appreciate it. It's actually not my kitchen. Now we're almost done with our latte. So we're gonna pour in the espresso first. A little bit of sugar-free caramel. The most satisfying part is the milk. Let's see if I can get this in here for you. Look at that, bro. We got a beautiful latte in there. Oh, bussin'. Simply just too good. Just too good. I like to stir my latte because I like getting all the espresso to the top. Bro, I need one. It's delicious. Nick Irish go in frame. He's waiting for the dinner. <laughs> He's waiting for me to bring it to him. All right, so there we go. We got a nice little latte there. Looking good. Shall you what happened to your left hand knuckle? No. Oh, and now we wait for the eggs to cook. So now we're just chilling again. Shy Smalls is too ripped. That's cap. That's cap. I'll flex at the end. How about that? Can I have an egg cracking tutorial? I didn't even think about that. Do you guys not know how to crack eggs? That's okay if you don't. But like, do you guys know how to crack eggs? Props for garlic chili sauce? Oh, dude. It's just chili paste. But yeah. How you doing, turtle? I don't know how to crack eggs. Okay. Um, well, they're already in. Basically what you do is you get to the edge of the pan, you hold the egg in the middle and you crack it over. So just so it makes a dent inside the egg and then you pull the egg open. I know how to crack eggs, let's go. Yeah, you throw the egg at the pan, that's what you do. It's good to see you turtle, welcome in, welcome in. All right, we got the egg kind of cooking good. Let me go get the cheese, cause the cheese goes on top. But you don't want to add the cheese till the eggs are done. Got some shredded cheese here, some cheddar jack. Strawberry bar's very yummy. What up, Gigi Straw? How you doing? Oh, let's go, Nick Irish. Thanks for the Strawberry bar. Yo, what up, Kersey? How you doing, man? Show us with one hand. I can't do it with one hand. I don't know how people do that. They're like, <laughs> I can't do the one hand egg crack. I did. I'm just not that, I'm not built different. So I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna let the eggs continue to cook because actually, no, that was a little premature. The eggs aren't quite done yet. Basically what you want for the egg cook is you want the yolk to be runny. So you want the yellow part to jiggle. So if you just jiggle the pan kind of like that, you'll see the uh, white part of the egg stay still, but you'll have the yellow part jiggle. That's what you want. That's perfect. Can you juggle eggs? I guess I could. Pinch and twist. <laughs> Your bro's lucky to have you make it his meals? I don't know, maybe. It smells, dude, it smells fantastic. If only you guys could actually smell it. 
Now what this does, you're gonna get a nice crispy bottom to this dish. It's gonna be like, it's gonna look a little burnt, but it's like all that it burned is maybe like just the edges of the onion. Oh, it's just peak. It's peak, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Trust. And Gigi, we got our latte too. Joker Boy, stop shouting me out. Thank you for shouting Kersey out. Also, uh, shout Sam out. What up, Unfairful? What time is it? Noon? Is it 12 or 6? It is 7 for me. Oh, you're, you're not late, Unfairful. No worries. All right, we can turn this off. We're going to add our cheese. I see Shadi has an espresso machine. I made one. I'm just going to drizzle the cheese over the top. Now, for garnish, usually what I would do is add green onion to the top. I'd usually add a little bit of cilantro to the top. I like hot sauce on the top. That's my chili paste that I put. Um, I don't have it, though, so that's okay. So what we're going to do is just... Nothing wrong with parsley, it's good for you. A little bit of parsley flake over the top. Give us some of that garnish. Ladies and gents, we're getting pretty close. What up, Ned? How you doing? What time is noon, 12 or six? Uh, 12, 12 p.m. Let's go get the plate. So before I cut it up, show you guys. Can I 1v1 you with the food? I guess you could. Bro, I can smell it in my room. It's going to be so good. But here we go. This is what we're looking at. Oh, we're peeking. Peeking in the kitchen. Are you kidding me with that? Bruh. Bruh. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So there we go. We got the dish. We're going to throw it on a tortilla. I'm going to cut it in half because you can't give it all to Nick Irish. And you'll see it's nice and crispy. It kind of sticks together because the egg. Bruh. Oh man. Just freaking delicious. Here we go. So the cool part about putting it on a tortilla is that when you put it on the tortilla, you eat half of it and then fold the rest up into a burrito. Just like that. Oh man. So good. Thoughts? Thoughts? Pretty delicious. All right, let me take Nick Irish's real quick. I'll come back and we can eat and chit chat. How about that, y'all? Nick Irish also likes ketchup on his. He's a madman. Puts ketchup on bacon. All right, give me one sec, y'all. Sounds good besides onion. Onion's delicious. Ned, who made you onion that you don't like it? It's fantastic. gonna do is let the grease cool and harden 
That way we're not just pouring grease down the drain because you don't want to do that. In case you didn't know not to do that, you don't want to do that. Shadi, you gotta get that protein. <laughs> gotta get your protein, man. Gotta get your protein. Mushrooms, L mushroom, what? Who said L mushrooms, what? Bro, what are you guys talking about? Also, wait, hold on. Hold on. Got a little bit of chili paste, but chili paste. A little bit of spice. I can turn the light down, Ted. It was me, that's just... I'm sad because my mom never lets me cook, even if the recipe is two ingredients. Well, maybe try getting in there on your own pack. You need to learn how to, learning how to cook is a fantastic skill. You gotta do it. Mm. You don't like mushrooms because you didn't eat it right. I'm hungry and I just, or you didn't cook it right. What's up, Brian? Send me leftovers, I got you. I love cooking, I gotta do it more honestly. It's not my stove and she buys the food. Maybe ask her why she doesn't want you to cook because that doesn't make any sense. We are we did a cooking stream. Here we go. Look at that, y'all. That is peak. Peak breakfast. Yo, what up, Seed? And says, ain't no way. Hey, let's go, 110. What is it to breakfast hash? I started curling 15 pound weights in between valve rounds. Dude, that's a W, Ned. Also, it's gonna ruin your aim though. <laughs> but DKG, that's awesome that you help your mom cook. Honestly, y'all, hey, the nicest thing you can do, take this recipe, take this stream, right? Everything we just did in this stream. Now you know how to do it. You can even go back in the VOD and watch what I did. Go make your mom some food. Or whoever in your family, maybe it's your dad, maybe it's your mom, whoever's cooking all the time, go, go cook them a meal. I cook dinner every night unless my parents say it's make your own. Okay. How you been? I've been good, Seed. How about you? What's for dessert? I don't eat dessert. I've been in a calorie deficit. That's why I've been getting all the gains, though. <laughs> Honestly, whoever cooks in your family, you should just go, you should just go cook your family members some meals. Seriously, I'm, I'm, oh, here we go. You can't cook your 13 Aiden. I've been cooking since I was like eight years old. My mom taught me how to cook when I was like able to be in the kitchen. It's a skill you want and need to know. Just cause you, you should be able to cook full meals when you're 13. All my mom would eat is the bacon, that's okay. You're the cook at your house, let's go Brian. That's what I'm saying, Shim. No, really, you should, you should, you should cook for your family. Learning how to cook early is fantastic. Let me tell you a secret, all right? It's mostly guys in here. Let me tell you a secret. It is a remarkably good skill and a fantastic thing in a relationship for you to know how to cook for your lady or your man. You should, you should be able to cook for your significant other, let me tell you. Be able to cook for your significant other. Gotta be able to cook. Do you have to physically upload VODs to your Twitch or do you do it automatically? I think you just check that you enable VODs, B-Man. I can make a quesadilla? Dude, Aiden, now you, you have this stream. Go back in the VODs, watch this stream and cook this meal. I believe in you, bro. Ribeye steak to ribs to baked ziti. Let's go, Brian. I got a frozen pizza with your name on it. That's okay, cook them a meal. It's good, it's good to go and just cook for the people in your family. It is an extremely kind gesture. Do you know how important eating is to the human social aspect? Huge. Eating is the way that people actually find common ground with each other. Make, make your family some food. And pack, redeem, play a game, what? <laughs> you should do sushi next. I can make sushi, I'm not as good at sushi though. I can try. I can try. I made sushi, but I'm not very good at it.
He's good at ramen. I do make, oh man, let me tell you something. I make some bussin' ramen. Pink says I'm just messing around. I didn't see the first message, I'm so sorry. P uh, Nick Irish, I'm glad it's good, bro. Oh, now I can cook with you? Okay, okay. Mm. This is so good. Is your refrigerator running? Yes. Although I don't know how it can run, it doesn't have legs. I had a doctor's appointment today, got a clean bill of health. Let's go, Brian, big W. Just remember guys, you are the best chat. So I'll have you do the moon and back. Lucky for me, I don't date. DKG, but you gotta be able to make meals for yourself. What parent or family would not enjoy a cooked meal? I'm telling you, make your family members a meal. For real. It is the kindest gesture. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. When you have a long... And a lot of y'all a lot of y'all don't understand this. And I didn't understand it until I actually worked like kind of full days. When you come back from a longer day and someone has made you a meal. Like you were out all day and you were working hard all day and you maybe missed your lunch and someone cooked you a meal when you get home, peak. It's it's just like the, the level of respect and admiration for the person that cooked you the meal. Also, yeah, now it's a burrito. Grilled cheese, bacon, eggs, ramen, and grilled cheese. Grilled cheese twice. <laughs> Ooh, fish tacos are good, Gigi. I make really good chicken. Know what I'm cooking for my dad because his work is driving 10 hours a day. Let's go. Do you have measurements for it, Shadi? Measurements for what? Oh, uh, use about a quarter of an onion for each onion. A quarter of an onion for each onion. If you use a bell pepper, use a whole bell pepper. If you're using multiple types of bell pepper, use half bell peppers and dice them. Want to trade stickers? What sticker? I don't care if my mom don't let me. I mean, that's fair. Never had fish tacos. Fish tacos are great. Is it true you have your brother eating tofu? Tofu's delicious if you make it right. Hmm. What's up? The stream is still live. Just showing them what uh, what you can look like if you <coughs> meal. Hey, what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peek in here and show them these peak muscles, baby. I hope y'all see Nick Irish flexing in the background. Oh, 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 oh. Bacon, eggs. Damn. This is bam. Ooh, jumble is good, Brian. I know, Nick Irish is ripped. Nick Irish is ripped. Good to see him up once a guy, yeah, he is. <laughs> nice shim. I'm gonna scream without the <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm telling y'all this is so good and it's so filling. I mean bones, bones are you still in here? One thing to watch you make the food, another to watch you eat it. I guess it's new. Shadi, you enjoying your meal? It's delicious. Bones, Bones has had this meal when I make it and I make it really unhealthy. Like when I cook, I cook the bacon and syrup and I put like all the peppers and stuff. Bones, is this, is the Strader bar not bussing? 
I'm telling y'all that was good. Let's go with Nick Irish. Signature dish shoddy, probably ramen. Um, I make good ramen. I make hot pot. I make good curry. I make this really well. I make good chicken. Those are like my main ones. Those are my main ones. Keliguin is fantastic. I wish I had some Keliguin right now. I would kill for some chicken Keliguin. Hmm. B-Man, what are you talking about? Bones loves Tabasco more than anybody I've seen in my life. I've never seen somebody love Tabasco like Bones. Check DMs, feel free to read it out loud. You and Bones learned to make ch dude. Oh. <laughs> One time I tried to make chicken Caliguin and it, was, it just tastes like vinegar. I eat chicken so much. Yeah, same. Ground turkey is really good for uh, protein retention and gains. Oh, you like Big Ziti? Big Ziti is fantastic. Only Tabasco. You despise curry? What? Tabasco's, Tabasco's great. Sriracha's good. Sriracha's good. despise beans you don't like beans <laughs> there, there we go bones texas pete's hot sauce Ooh, valentina hot sauce is the best valentina hot sauce you can get it for two dollars for a jar i kid you not like this big oh well mark take a big bite we got this last we got the last bite there's no bite as good as the last bite ready Mm. So good. So good. We got that like oh yeah. Let's go. Winter trip? December. Trips in December. No problem, Nick Irish. Thanks for uh making an appearance. I'm glad you enjoyed it, bro. Well, what did we think of this? Thoughts on this process? Did we enjoy this? Yeah, me and me and Sam might do a cooking stream. We'll see. You also have a trip in December? Yeah, you do, Bones. I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to Hawaii. Let's go ride bikes. Oh my, that's actually a good one. I like it. I want more. You guys want more cooking streams? Last piece of bacon right there. Oh, I know. I'm gonna, I've been to Hawaii, too. Where's the food I redeemed? Pack, let me ship it to you, bro. Make some chicken or steak. I can do chicken. Chicken meal's really good. Okay, we can do more We can do more cooking streams. I don't know if this was fun. I know some people have been saying, like, oh, your food looks really good. And it's like, well, it is, and it's easy to make. Honestly, what I want everybody to know is that you can make really, really healthy, good meals that don't take very long and they taste fantastic. R8, what's going on, man? Nick Irish wants more chicken. Do a barbecue stream? I actually don't do barbecue, but, but my brother is like the king of smoking meats. Actually, don't look at DMs. I'm going to blur their name and picture. Okay, gotcha. No worries. Barbecue stream with Bow Hunter, we good. Yo, what up, Zero? Shoddy cooking stream. You missed it, Troy. Bummer. Dude, no. So not Nick Irish. The other one, Bow Hunter. He's in here sometimes. Bow Hunter is just ridiculous at smoking meat. Peak viewers on cooking. I think we peaked at fifty something viewers the other day. We're gonna have a lifting stream soon because Bean or uh, uh, Gut Beef's gonna redeem it. I'm gonna cry. Troy the VOD will be up. Chicken cooking stream next. We can do good chicken. Your brother and my buddy should head go head to head because my buddy's really good at smoking meat. Okay, okay. 
I just eat all the food. Nick Irish is blessed. And also our mom, our mom was a pampered chef. So like, dude, this is like the cooking household. Like everybody in here can cook. Everybody in here can cook. I have two brothers. Oh, I guess I have three, if you include Bones. Points, let's go, 614, you bounce back, Aiden. But yeah, no, my, my, my family is just like fantastic. My grandma, oh my gosh, makes the best like meat sauce for spaghetti ever, ever. And she makes it from scratch, so good. Dude, our, our family is just, like, out of this world cooking. Out of this world cooking. You ever had peanut butter cake? No, because I'm allergic to peanuts. <laughs> Can you be my brother? I'm an only child. Yeah, you're welcome into the family, Jugga Boy. Bones' family can't cook, bro. Oh, my gosh. Bro, it's different food. All right, so, like, our, my family's really good at making a lot of different, like, European foods and, like, American foods. Bones' family... Oh my gosh, bruh, the Chamoran food is so good, it is to die for. Dude, I am surrounded by people that can cook. I am so lucky. Yeah, yeah, you know what, you're all you're all in the family now. All y'all are in the family now. Come to the cookout. Bones family makes mean short ribs. Short ribs, Kelleguin, Bagolgi, bro, literally anything. I have three brothers. Can I join? Sure, man. You're all you're all in. You're all in. All right. Also, you guys wanted a setup reveal, right? If I remember that correctly. I get my plane ticket to AZ. Let's go. With the health train, big W. <laughs> the derby car as well. Let's go. I'll bring the drinks. Dude, this is going to be a W thing. The Shoddy Smalls 88 cookout. I can cook some uh, breakfast hash, some curry and ramen. Bow Hunter can smoke some meat. Set up and stream video. All right, I'll have to do it. It's, it's just weird because, like, literally in a matter of days, my setup's going to change back to my normal setup. I'll make whatever y'all need. Let's go. I'm good at jokes. Dude, Nick Irish, Nick Irish is, he's, he's very lively at parties. He's very lively. Once he gets going, once he gets going, man, he's going. I'll put on a show. Yeah, Juggle Boy, Demolition Derby, big W. Big W. All right. Well, hold on. Is my, is my computer still on? It's not. Never mind. Never mind. No setup reveal today. GG. We need to pay shoddy money because we'll overclock. Because we'll overclock. Oh, God. <laughs> Gonna do some rocket? I don't know, actually. Yeah, my Wi Fi would get destroyed. My Wi Fi would get destroyed. I don't know if I'm gonna do rocket. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now I'm tired. Now I'm tired. We'll do a setup real quick. Let me let me turn it on. I'll bring y'all with me. Oh, I'll bring y'all with me. What's up, bro? Let's go. I'm gonna cover the camera incognito through the house. All right, here we go. You need to do Rocket League viewer tourney? Man, y'all. GG always insight in the viewer tourneys. There's the setup. There's the setup. Who's the tallest in your family? Me. Let's go. So yeah, that is that is the setup. Nicholas, you are you are not the tallest, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nick Irish wants to be the tallest so bad, bro. He wants to be the tallest so bad. Ugh. The temporary stuff. Yeah, exactly. Stack monitors looks good. Where's the chair? You saw the chair. The chair was in there. The chair was in there. 
BRB. Actually, I'm probably going to call it. Probably going to call it. Here's what we can do, though. Since I know this ended up being kind of a shorter stream type type deal. Toe reveal? Bruh. Um, no. <laughs> no. Uh, what I'm going to do, because I know this was a shorter stream, is we are going to do, we can do Discord call. So I'll go hop in the Discord. Uh, we can all just hang out, chit chat, that kind of thing. Gigi says, yeah, I know. Yeah. What the hell? No chair I didn't see. Did you not see? So yeah, we can do we can do Discord call, just kind of hang out, have fun, chit chat together for a little bit. And then uh, tomorrow I will stream in the evening because I'll be back in the evening. Uh, yeah, actually, let me go through the rest of the, the, rest of the week with y'all real quick because it's going to be a weird rest of the week into next week uh, as far as streams go just because I'm in the process of moving. So tomorrow I'll be streaming. Friday I will be streaming. Saturday I won't stream. Sunday I won't stream. But Monday I should be back to streaming. So Saturday and Sunday is a no. Friday's kind of up in the air, it depends, because I need to pack everything, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, maybe Friday, maybe not Friday, it depends, but for sure no stream on Saturday and Sunday. So, just kind of putting that out there, and then try to get back into a routine. Uh, the school semester starts on the 16th, so yeah, I don't know. We can try to do this more in the future. Um, I make a lot of food. I like cooking. Monka Master, what's going on, man? You did miss it, though. You missed it. It's all right, though. The VOD, the VOD will be up. Uh, yeah, Jungle Boy, I do remember. I do remember. But you did miss it, Monka Master. I like cooking, too. Let's go. So, I mean, if you guys are into this and you're willing to hype it up and get other people involved, I mean, I'd be down to do this again. It's kind of up to you guys, though. Garlic bread is delicious, though, Shin. What up, Roses? Yeah, you sent with the with the blurred names. Hype. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that'll kind of be it. Uh, give me a couple minutes just because I want to clean up the kitchen. I hate leaving a mess. So, uh, basketball stream. Bro. You know, I'm trying to think about how I would do it. I don't think I can do it because, I, yeah, I could do it because we have a game on Sunday, but do I don't, it's weird because what if I suck? What if I have a really bad game? I don't want to do that. I had a new Subway sandwich. Let's go. Garlic aioli. I don't know. I don't know. I doubt the basketball stream. I doubt. Y'all do judge, Shin. Y'all do judge. What if I have a bad game? Have Bowhunter take it? Bowhunter's gonna be playing. 